Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and we're back on my Mechanical Mastery World, and today we're going to try to see if we can automate the uh, dormant effigies into the various effigies. That's the thing we're trying to do today, maybe even get the charges out of it. So uh, we have all of these dormant effigies. We have all eight stacks of it. This is going great. The system is working fantastic. So what I'm thinking about doing is having these go into, and if you remember the, the recipes for these, and we'll just go back and take a look at it, like Blaze, you get that by using a fluid encapsulator. It makes those things. So you need this to go into four different fluid encapsulators so i'm thinking about having that be like right here i probably can't get that one up there but can we do this no okay but anyway you can think about the fluid encapsulators that's where i want those to be now the fluid encapsulators then get their uh, fluid from other resources so we're going to try to do each of those and pipe them in uh, to where those are right so i probably should just get the fluid encapsulators now so let's see if we can do that or you know what we have that down here we're going to be automating it so let's just take these out right so we have one here for uh well we have one here <laughs> and here and here and this one right here Okay, so those are our four fluid encapsulators. This is my little hole where I was AFK for a while. <laughs> so I didn't get phantoms getting me. Don't want that at all, do we? Um, so let's put these in right here. Let's grab this. And let's just uh, do that and that and... Okay. We'll get these kind of set up, okay? And we really want these to be kind of neutral set up right now. So I'm going to go in here really quick and just make sure that all of these are turned off. Everything's back to normal, okay? That way um, I can set this up later on and get it set up and configured how I want. So I know they're not going to do anything weird or to us, right? Okay, so those are the four different uh, fluid encapsulators. So we're going to have to do the first one is Blizz, which is lava, if, if I'm right uh, and correct. Okay, so we have to, in essence, get lava, and the fluid encapsulator takes the dormant effigies, and it makes Blaze. So let's go look at the lava production again. Um, I can't remember how we did it. I think we have basically going into here, we are using a magma crucible. And I think we use a magma crucible over here too. In fact, they're all magma crucibles. So we got to get four magma crucibles. So I have three of them here already. So we're going to need to make one more for lava. Now, did these retain their uh, the fluid that's in them? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So we're going to have to make one more of these eventually, but that's okay. We'll get through this. Let's see. So each of these is going to have a magma crucible of some sort of resource and uh, take that into it. So really what we can do is have one here, one here, and one here. And again, I'm going to set these up to be neutral. So there and right. So that's correct. We're going to, make, we're going to pipe these in eventually going to, from here to this side. So now we just got to figure out how to get this right here for lava. And that was uh, the Magma Crucible taking an EMC link, if I'm correct. So let's go look at this. EMC link. We're going to be using those. And do we have a piece of cobble with us? I think that's all we need to make this work for this one. So let's see. If we do that and we say it's cobble. Okay. And then we're going to say input on this side. And there you are. It's immediately making lava. That's what we want. And then we're going to say output on this side. Okay. And then so this one's going to say input on this side. And there we go. So now all we have to do is bring these dormants over into this and it would be producing blaze. Excellent. Okay. The other ones we can do here really quick is the one that uses a destabilized redstone and the other one that uses a glowstone. So I'm going to put those in here and set this one to redstone. And okay. Air doesn't have a value. I'm trying to say redstone right there. Oh, we can't get that. We have to actually get to convert that out. Okay. We're going to set this one to glowstone. That can come directly from EMC. We're going to have to make a different method for redstone. So that should be loading up with glowstone. There we go. It's making the energized glowstone. And we're going to set that to output on the other side. And this side can input from this side. There we go. So we're getting energized glowstone. Those two are really easy. So for this, we need to, in essence, use a pulverizer to take out um, the material. And I do something very similar to this. Or, or since we already have this and we've got plenty of redstone, we could pipe the redstone over into here. Um, maybe. We have to make sure it only gets redstone, and that's part of the problem. But Or we could just do this normally like this here, a 
another drawer, another pile. I like that idea of just doing it over here. It's the same system, just a little bit different. So let me do that really quick. We're gonna get a drawer and we're gonna get a key, of course, probably. And we're gonna get some pipes and probably a wrench, okay? So we're gonna, in essence, get redstone. So let me put a spacer here, right there. And we're going to get, this is the output and you can see it already has some stuff in it. Let's get rid of all that, okay? That's why it was separate in the system there. And we're going to put a pipe in here and not going down there. Okay. Say it pulled out of glowstone. That's not what we want. And we're gonna have on, nope, 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 come back. And on this side will be import automatically. And we only want it to do redstone. So how do we tell it to do just redstone? Well, we can use a filter for that. That's pretty easy. Let's grab our filter here. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna say, oh, we gotta get uh, upgrades also because we can't do this without the upgrades. We need to have, uh, we got a basic one already there. We need to have the one that's diamond or higher. So let's get that. That's not too hard to do. Okay, so we are going to hit this to extract. We're gonna put in the diamond upgrade here. That's good. We're gonna say we're going into this section right here. So we're gonna set our destination with the filter tool, go into the uh, extraction point. We're gonna say add a filter, pull in redstone and go into there. Okay, Oop, I didn't submit that, my fault. Do that and hit that and submit. Okay, so if we hit a redstone in here, you can see it's immediately taken out and it's going into here, right? And we're gonna output that automatically into this one. So input there. And so we got destabilized redstone. Okay, so now this should work. So this is going to uh, probably have uh, whatever the resources are for redstone. And then we're going to make a void upgrade. So let me get a void upgrade. We know how to make that. That's pretty easy. We don't want this to overflow anything. So we do that. And then now we need to have a, another pipe going from a pulverizer. So we're working this backwards now. And we need another pulverizer. So let's get that pulverizer. Uh, I probably got the recipe right here. We need another piston. And again, we're low on iron. Iron is still my one of my problems. I have been cooking up iron over here though, so we got plenty. Okay, let's go back here. Pulverizer, piston, there we go. Oop, not that, there. And a machine frame, and we need another tin gear. Okay, we got that. Machine frame. Machine frame. <laughs> uh, copper gears. Two of those and a pulverizer. So there's that. And so we wanna have, going off of this is the pulverizer and this will be, uh, we're gonna input from this side over here and output on this side and set this to that. And now we just need an EMC link with redstone ore. So do that. Let's go get some redstone ore. And that should start the whole process up. And so I think we got three then of the four resources working. So let's just do that. Uh, boom. So now this should event get, it is getting the resources there. Let's run some, do I have any more power pipes? I don't have any more powered pipes, okay. It's always something guys. Okay. And we will run, run that all the way across here. Let me, okay. So what is this doing? It is outputting the redstone ore uh, in just a second, it should do redstone and any other stuff should be taken over into, so there we got cinnabar and that, and we're only bringing over redstone into here, and then that's gonna go into here making it, and then we get it into the fluid encapsulator. Okay, so we got destabilized redstone done, we have energized glowstone done, and we have lava. So the only one that's left, guys, we're gonna work on this in just a second, is the blizz uh, stuff, which is resonant ender, and resonant ender, it takes uh, pearls, now to make pearls, we can either use ender dust or, which we can't really make anyway because we don't have any ender ore. So we are going to have to use a some sort of crafter to do this recipe of four iron and a philosopher's stone. So that's the next bit. So it's gonna be like coming off of here. We're gonna have uh, probably a crafter tool here. So yeah, this should be, uh, this should be interesting. Okay, so what we wanna do here is I wanna do a sequential fabricator since we only have one recipe. So we're gonna make that right now and we have that. So this recipe goes, this thing goes up here 
and we don't want it to be outputting anything into here so that's good it didn't bring anything over and we're going to say uh, uh, output is on this side automatically uh, we are going to input on this side automatically and what's the recipe we want well we want to get um, iron and a philosopher's stone so let's set the recipe we got a philosopher's stone here okay we might have to make more of this because we do use this occasionally but this goes into here and there's the recipe for ender pearls right so we're going to say that's our recipe and i'm going to put this in here so if i put in a bunch of iron let's make sure that this works once i get power uh to it okay so you can see it's in essence making pearls and they're coming into here so it's why is it not exporting here did we set this up to import from this site nope and there we go it's doing the process you can see the philosopher's stone is staying in the inventory that's good it's doing that let's say output to this side and we'll bring that into here and there's our resident ender so we got the four fluids going now we just have to automate this iron process and what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to do another one of these drawers and a pulverizer and doing iron because honestly you know this is i mean we could do this whole pulverizer to a redstone furnace i guess um, I want to get that process kind of independent from the other iron so it's not pulling from our reserves. So you've seen all this process. I'm just going to set this up. It's going to go right through this thing and then we should have this done. I know this looks kind of ugly, but it works. I have iron ore coming out of here, pulverizing down into dust, which is in here is basically iron dust and nickel dust. We haven't seen any, any nickel dust yet, but we know that that is a possible byproduct. So then it comes out of the drawer there, goes around and goes into here, which is a redstone furnace, which then, uh-oh, it did take that. Okay, so we got to filter this. See, I did something wrong here. So I'll fix that in a second uh, with a filter. But then it goes through here, through the furnace with the iron, over into uh, the sequential fabricator, which makes the uh, ender pearls, and then it makes it over here. So this is uh, working except for this little problem. So I need to get some dust here. Uh... Is it, where is it going? Oh, it's going right here. Okay, so we got some dust. I'll put that back in a second. So we need to get a filter. So that means that this needs one of, the, one of those diamond upgrades. Let's do this really quick here. Uh, it's an upgrade. You can see that we already have some of the white ones and then the yellow one. And then we need a diamond one so that we can add filtering. Okay, so we're going to go up to here. We're going to say put that in. There it is. Now we're going to set our destination again for the filter. You always use this device. You right click on it and it says destination set. Then up here, you got to say what you want to do. Well, I want to add. Again, we're doing iron dust. Let's put a piece there. Okay, and we've set the destination. That's pretty easy. Submit. And so now only iron dust will be taken out. I do have a void upgrade up here. So if I take that out and put that in. Now it has all the right pieces. And see, nickel dust is staying now in the system. So this should work as soon as it gets another piece of iron here, which will be in just a second. Let's go let's see it goes to four. There it is. And it made uh, the Ender Pearl, which went into here, which we've stocked already. So all of these encapsulators are just about done. This is not quite there yet. It just takes time. But uh, we have all of that ready. So what we need to do now, guys, we need to get this, the dormant effigies, into these and then output that into some sort of drawer. I think I'm going to do that to stockpile it. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to set up a drawer. It's going to be right in front of this uh, fluid encapsulator here. And we're going to have all of these pipe their items out, okay? And they're going to output those uh, from the front. So we're going to set... Can you not do the front? I guess that's not going to work. So we're going to have to figure out a different way to do this. Uh, that's a great question. How do we do this? I didn't know you couldn't do the front. So now i got to think about this, guys. Let me look at how we're going to do this. Okay, the only thing I can think of is we will route the effigies to the back of them these four and then we'll use the side as the output which means we got to get power into this and uh, the only way i can think of to do power is from the front and this should connect up right so even though you can't control like input output you can still accept power from that side I and mean, i know that looks ugly but that's the only thing i can think of to do so we'll jump the power across up here and go over and down and I know it's ugly, but it's because of the way I designed it. I don't want to redesign the whole thing to make it look pretty. It's going to work. Okay, so let's do this again. What I want to do is have the output of here. Um, I'm going to set up a drawer also. This is where I'm going to have my output. Let me, let me do this a little bit backwards. Let's get that set up. That's going to hold our effigies, okay? And now I want this 
pipe to go right past it. But I don't want this. So, okay. And it did not extract anything yet. That's, uh, that's good, right? Oh, no, don't do that. Okay, so it, there's nothing extracted. Okay, so that means we got to bring this up into here. Okay, now you notice they're not accepting anything yet, and that's fine. Let's uh, put on this. It means it's in extract mode. And still nothing has left uh, the, the drawer here. So what we want to do is go into this and set up that. And then we're going to add advanced piping. But I want to go not the nearest first. I want to go round robin. So it instantly will do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Round robin and fill them up equally, okay? So that should work. So now if we say on the back is input right uh yeah and there we go see it filled up pretty quick back is input back is input back is input okay so it's right now making all of the effigies that's amazing we got all of them coming in and so now all we have to do is pipe those out so if i do this and there we go and we sit here and we say that this side is output and this side is output again and again and so we should start to see as soon as i accept these two extract there we go where's the other one uh dormant effigies i don't need dormant effigies in there why am i getting dormant effigies shouldn't be attached here at all okay i have that coming out coming out going into here oh that mode, I'm sorry, that mode and that, okay. And I need to get rid of all of that. There we go. So they're all set. Now let's lock that down. Okay, so they're going to make as much as they can of these, and then they're going to uh, uh, go through and fill this up. So we've got a place now making all of our effigies. All right, guys, this is a great stopping point. We've got the whole entire system making up all of the four types of effigies. So next time, guys, next time what we're going to do is we're going to have those converted with our sawmills into their component parts, breaking them out into the charges, and then automate the process of getting that last essence. And that will then finally finish Tier 3. This is getting kind of complicated. I'm kind of excited to see what Tier 4 has to bring, but we'll uh, get that in a little bit. So anyway, guys, stay tuned for that episode. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.